beautiful skip out there. Get rid of a few nerves, I think, to start with. Now, especially when I've not met too many times, we'll probably be a little bit waiting in the beginning. See what the opponent has to offer. It's a little bit cooler today. I mean, they know the, the side door's open, but it's a little bit cooler, so it will help the athletes. Steffi O'Neill, she came to Pontefract many years ago with a, a, a sister, Marina, the, the older sister. Uh, so I've known her a few years, uh, but I've just found out that she's still coached by her father and mother, uh, Chris and Peggy, based out of Connecticut. So she's been there all her life, and uh, they're a massive uh, squash family. And uh, they do things their own individual way. Um, but both excellent athletes and good squash players. And you know them from your time still? Yeah, they, they've visited Pontefract a few times uh, uh, for the US Older Silver, then now a gold event, pre uh, the Junior British Open that were in January in uh, Abbeydale and then uh, moved to uh, Edgbaston. Uh, so they came, they, they came, started coming for a pre tournament before the, the, the Junior British. So I got to know her father very well who likes to wear uh, American hockey shirts all the time. <laughs> People will know him. Chris Stefioni is a hockey man. He's a good guy. Uh, they do it their own way. Uh, individual way. But very honest, hard-working way. Well, well, both, I, uh, both the girls are very good girls. I hope uh, mom and dad are listening. <laughs> so they can... Uh, here, that's the shout out you just gave. <laughs> and uh, Tony Malik, um, you know, one of uh, a big family of the Malik, uh, based in Crawley. Uh, coach again, my father, Cameron. In fact, uh, all, all, all the siblings are coached by Cameron Malik and then helped uh, by the older brother who. Uh, Sam, Sam's had a few uh, tussles with the late, late Curtis Malley. So another massive, squ uh, strong squash family uh, based in Crawley in London. Our players uh, are even Stephen at the moment. Yeah, well, as suggested right at the start, very well matched and the scoreline is showing that. There's still a few nerves first game to get over them. Like that, to me, the game will all hinge on who finishes the rallies the best. Uh, they're both going to hit a tremendous ball. They're both very good athletes. It's the ones that can keep composed, mentally focused and, uh, and just finish off the rally. In the right manner. Small interference there. I noticed that uh, both players need a little bit more length, maybe. Yeah. See a lot of half court yeah, balls. I think, I think they need to uh, straighten up as well as well as the length. There's a lot coming across the court, which just comes right to the middle of the court. Just need to straighten it up and then find the back corner. I like that shot there. Perfect length. Very slow. Yeah. 8 5 small lead, lead for Stefanoni. 8-5 now, Daniel. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
And as we speak, 9 5. <laughs> So Stephen Owen is just, you know, she, you can see she's just finishing off the bet as soon as it gets at the front of the court. She's, she's not uh, scared of taking the ball in and finishing it off. And that's the difference at the moment. Yeah, and I think Tori had just a little couple of mistakes there as well yeah, on the front. Yeah, she, she, as, as you just said, she wants to time. Yeah, that'll be a stroke. Time, time, the, time the, the line hitting. The fuel just popping out, and, uh, and you know, a couple of foot from the wall. See again, all the balls there are half court. You know, you just need to find the back, back corners. Yeah, because they're all half court. Nice shot. Yeah, that's a good one. Nicely yeah, cut. Nice, yeah, nice hold. Safety. It was a little bit easy, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, a lot of oh, interference yeah, in this part of the game. It's just got scrappy, and, uh, and that just because the, the balls are not tight on the wall and they need to be. A... This shouldn't help anybody, by the way. Turn to the referee, you need to be focused. Exactly. Next point. Don't even worry about the decision. Can't do anything about it anyway. That's a very yeah. nice line there. Yeah, that's perfect. Good length. Nice straight hitter. Good serve as well, by the way. Ten, everything to play for this game. Well, Very exciting. Yeah, I mean, from she's speaking that, but I mean, you know, if I were in a corner, she's had many chances at Malik to take it in at the front and just change the pace, vary the pace. So everything's at the same pace. She's trying to find the corners, but I've attempted to take it in the front. And our first tie break of today. Then you know, played the ball rightly so, but unfortunately got punished by it because the ball went tight enough. Need to get it off the tee, put it in the back corner. Oh, that's a lucky shot. Oh, that's a lucky shot. That's not the perfect length, by the way, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> Good width. 
Yeah, from her forehand crosses, they have, they have enough width. But on yeah. the backhand, it, it tends to be a little close to the center. But there's still no variation. I, I would add variation into the game with, with pace. Uh, and maybe even height. But, uh, you know, just, well, she's a great hitting the ball. There's no question about that. Yeah, if she can keep her posture stable, she has a lot of power yeah. to bring into this game. She might be the, the, the game plan to maybe overpower Stefanoni. Not in all fairness, you know, Malik taking that first game 13-11, and I think she was back behind, I think maybe match ball, and certainly four points behind at one stage, so she's come back very well there to start that first game. Everybody thought that was Stefanoni's all day long. I think so too, yeah. It was 10-7. Yeah, so, think, yeah uh, she's done really well to take that, yeah. Really well. That'll alter the mindset a bit of both players. <laughs> Stands are also nicely filled up today. Yeah. The whole Team America there to uh, cheer for Stefanoni. Probably should be there's some, uh, you know, these are the future PSA players. Uh, and there's some great quality and depth. So uh, these are the ones to watch over the next five, ten years. Yeah, I think it's very exciting what you see about the, uh, from the Americans. Yeah, I like it. Uh, so last week as well in, uh, in the Dutch Junior Open. It's happened, I think, in the last, uh, I mean, you know, I've been trying, but certainly in the last, I think, five years, maybe five, maybe ten years, you know, got some international coaches going over there, uh, and they've got some great centres now with a massive amount of, of courts, got about 20, 30, 40 of courts, um, great setups, physios, nutritionists, you've got everything in place, and uh, they're producing a lot of good athletes, so uh, the future's bright for the US, and... Uh, Everybody else needs to look at what they're doing as well. Stephen only wants a good start now because she would have thought she would have won that first game. Now she's won down. too easy yeah. going for the opponent not yeah. the ball correct but there's the difference I mean uh, uh, Malik won the first but the variation of pace and taking it into the front is all from Stefanoni so to me it's, uh, it's more of a complete game there's another finish Reaction there mm. from Stefanoni. One of my boasts, that. Sorry? What am I? <laughs> I'm at your boast. Oh. Tight ball, yeah. simple, you know. Uh, underrated shot, the tightness of the ball. Lee Beachville used to do it a million years ago, very well. Yeah, I once uh, was taught by Jonathan Power. He yeah. said the difference between the number one and two in the world is like half a millimeter of tightness to the wall. Correct. And oh, uh, beautiful kill! Beautiful finish. He once describes one of the players. I don't know if it was Peter Nickel or. or, or uh, Jonathan Power, but, uh, uh, when Beach won 3 0 and they were only 3 0, but he said it was like being in court with the living death. He <laughs> just couldn't get the racket on the ball because it was just so tight. Nothing special, it's tight and good length. There you go. I think that was the first drop shot she's played and uh, gave off dividends. Got to use the whole court, bring them forward and backwards, use height. Yeah, 
Yeah, he knew that was trouble. Yeah, that was a great setup. Yeah, that was, she had an option of 15 shots there. Oh, nice out of the nick. Five all first game, four all second game. Switch. Alex definitely played with more power at the moment. Um, Stephanie only yeah, had an opportunity there with the length. She just overhit the length. If you yeah. overhit it, it's like half core length. Yeah, well, use of height there, that, 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 that just slowed, slowed the game down. Then that, Stephanie then played a loose shot, and then and the court was open for her then. So he went back uh, three shots then. Yeah, and I think Malika's using her body very well so yeah. too. She's like a strong girl. Yep. It's a very stable stance, and it's hard for Stephanie to fight herself past it. Yeah. If you just look at, you know, it's, it's a, a yard or a, a metre, well, it <laughs> depends on what we are. Well, we're at the Brits Junior Open, off, so we, off, we're talking yeah. yards and yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. understand. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, off the wall, so what's going to happen when you hit a yard off the wall? Oh, nice finish, because she read the ball there. But if you look what's happening, Malik's playing on the tee. Stephanie only's playing from behind the tee, so she actually you now plays a drop shot from behind her, so she needs to work her way to get into the, onto the tee and play Malik behind her. But at the moment, Malik's powering her off court here. Oh, a nice finish again. Same situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah same yeah. situation, yeah. Can't keep relying on that, though. No, that's going to be... Uh... <laughs> Well, you've got to read it, and then you've got to put it in from you know behind Malik. So let's work two out of two. And a nice finish again. The ball off the wall, and it, it, it gives Steffi only that opportunity. Just see it come in. I hope it was against the record. No, I think. Well, I don't see any uh, brute marks on Stefan. No, I think legs. it might be the racket because she's not. Unless she's really tough, she's not flinching. I think she's really tough anyway. Tougher than her dad. <laughs> <laughs> you still hope he's listening, yeah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> not tougher than her mother, though. Did the player let then, yeah? Was that, I think she gave it. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. She didn't throw, didn't she? I think it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 9 7. Sometimes you can offer the let, though, because really you shouldn't be playing that shot. But. Yeah, that's true. But some of these refs are just very strict. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of traffic now. Attention. Yeah, that's when the, the matches start getting really mm -hmm. nice, when there's tension. <laughs> it's Ooh. great hitting, though, it's great hitting. But it comes from the Stefioni ball, not, not, it's not deep enough or, or tight enough, and that's what you need to do. So, so Malik's got nothing to hit off. But 
game ball again for Malik. A little smile there from, yeah, well, from Malik. Uh, and, and, and Stevian is lucky there. You know, it's coming off the side wall, so it's yeah. nice to increase accuracy. In there, a little bit of luck. Second game to Malik, 11-8. This is going to be a tough one to to overcome for Stefanoni, I think. Two tight games, lost them both. Yeah, and Malik's hitting the ball superbly well, so she's hitting with purpose. Um, he's in the right directions, he's in the right lines. She's keeping Stefanoni behind her all the time. I mean, you just look there; she tries to play balls from behind her. She's she's played two winners from behind her. It's very difficult to keep doing that. You know, yeah. that's that's, a, that's an art to do that. But you can't keep on doing that. You want you know your simple ones to put the front, working them at the back, and then taking it in the front. Uh, so it's an uphill battle, but I know the Stefan is get ready. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. She needs to try and get Malik behind her. It's actually it's, yeah, it's yeah. all very simple. <laughs> Ma yeah, Malik's she's powering off court at the moment, so she she needs to work out some way either be height or good width or good line length. Um, and tight line length uh, to get onto the tee. You know, uh, she started on the tee at the first game, and that's why she got that lead. But then Malik overpowered her again and, yeah. and, and took the game. Did exactly the same in the second game. So she has to dominate the tee. It's the same old. It, it never changes with years and years of playing. Dominate whoever dominates the tee usually wins the match. That's true. Yes. Yeah. If I were Stefanoni, I would probably hit the ball a little bit higher, a little bit slower. Yeah, very the pace. Like very the pace. Provoke Malik a bit yeah, because yeah. She, she goes for it, but you when it's like. You change, you, change, you change the pace of the ball and you'll put it up in the hair, it's not as easy to hit them straight drives or cross court exactly. drives no. or volleys as, uh, uh, as people think. You know, they vary it because it, it comes here at different angles and different speeds, and it, it's not as easy as that. Vary the pace, but yeah, keep it up in the air or tie it down the line. Simple from here. Daniel? Yeah, simple very simple. From here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> and definitely why I'm here. Start with the third game. Leak the serve. Well, without a doubt now, Stephanie only needs... Uh, oh, that's great ball. Ball. Yeah, great start. She needs a great start. And... Uh, to get some confidence and, and move forward with it. So good finishes to start. Yeah, two quick points, very important. Yeah. Touche. It's a perfect length, perfect weight, outright winner. It's still quite close this game, but we've seen only short rallies now. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
I think too many short rallies don't favor Malik because she's too many unforced errors from both sides. The nerves are definitely still there. <laughs> yeah, they are there until the end. <laughs> a great strike. Just a great strike. Stepping towards the ball, finishing yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, that's a great ball. Exact time to play the ball so when she's just rocking on the on the tee on the on the back of the heels. Play the ball. Make sure it's up. Yeah, it's a good decision, I think. Good stroke. Still a bit scrappy. That's the occasion, I think, getting to them both. Well, the cross got available, I don't know. Was she diving into it? She definitely was going to get the ball, but what's the risk you take when you don't play the ball? My view is always play the ball. Take it out of the referee's hands. A nice finish. Very nice finish. Seems to work for her in that right forehand corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she finishes well in, in the right corner. I mean, yet again, each game has been super tight, certainly in the middle order. 7 6. Oh. Can't afford those errors. Not when you're 2 0 down. What's happened? The story of this game is um, it's been close all, all through the first two and now the third into the middle order. But Malik played the crucial points better towards the end of each game, and that's why looking closely to become taking this out at three nil. Maybe not yet, but not yet. <laughs> now yeah, at nine six is what the Americans call grind time. I've learned yesterday. Let's hope so. Then the grinding starts, for them at least. We've got to push without committing unforced errors. That's what you've got to do now. finish and now it's 8-9 so tension is very high I, uh, yeah. I reckon these are super big points now oh, as Malcolm used to say he's worth 10 points <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Beautiful. wow wow just what you needed now they're worth 20 points. 
Again, it's a bit of traffic, no need really. It should allow the player in. Ah, yeah. oh, great deal! Yeah. And we have, uh, we have our first next ball at hand. Yeah. 30 points. <laughs> Is that. There you go. Malik wins her spot in her place in the final. I think it's well deserved. I yeah, think well deserved. Uh, we were all hoping for it to be closer than that. Um, it was close in, in every game in the middle order and towards the end. And then Malik just played the big points better and hence came out with a 3 0 win. So well done, Tony Malik. <laughs> 